41 riders trying to get into the main event, making it through the qualifiers is no easy task. In order to allow the most qualified riders a chance into the main event, the PKRA adopted a new qualifications format for this year's World Tour. You have uh, three rounds of three people competing in each heat and only winners advance. Yeah, let's say that's gonna be harder for them. Despite all the buildup and anticipation, in the end, Carlos Mario wasn't able to live up to his prior performance in Argentina. After landing some solid technical tricks and showing off his style, Mario lost his last two heats and his chance to do battle in the main event. Someone who won a PKRA event last year and not even making it through the main, to the main event. Pretty hard, but we'll see. Hopefully he'll be on other events and do better there. The day wasn't over for the Latin American riders. Dominicans Robinson Hilario and Pasito Martinez show that they have what it takes to make it in the PKRA by breezing past other contenders to qualify for the main event. The single elimination round is sure to be full of exciting kiteboarding as the Latin Americans will most likely pull off some upsets against the more seasoned PKRA riders. So here we are in Nitro City in Panama, first tour stop of the PKRA season 2014. We just started the single elimination, first seat is over already. It's like the 24 best guys in the world are competing for the title here and it's insane. The level is so high, everybody was training over the winter for this season and now everybody is revealing their best tricks and showing what they train for and yeah, it's sick action. I can't wait to go out on the water as well. One of the more spectacular moments of the single eliminations happened during the matchup of Louis Hooter and Alberto Rondina. Near the end of a very tight heat, Uter was disqualified after tangling with Rondina's kite, which ended up on the roof next to the judge's tower. His car was just stuck on the beach, but mine was like looping like big time, so I got kind of scared because all the rocks here and I released and it went all the way to the roof. But yeah, luckily it's still fine. Good surprise, but yeah, so good. It's oftentimes the case that the more seasoned tour veterans advance against the less experienced riders. But such was not the case when young Robinson Hilario advanced over the current vice world champion Mark Jacobs in the second round heat, making his way into the quarterfinals. I'm so happy, man. I'm ready for tomorrow. We are now down to the quarterfinals, and five time world champion Aaron Hadlow is on a mission alongside third-ranked Christoph Tack and the Brazilian team of Idazio da Silva, Breno Remu, and Alex Neto. 